This is the first part of uh, the suggested solution for adding an event to your Drupal site. Uh, we should uh, um, well, we should declare an event that eventually will react when saving this word list here, so we can have funny things happening when we change uh, change the list of words. And the first part of this is well, let's have a look at the uh, existing events. Why not? Uh, rules develop info and the events here, 34 of them. Uh, these are kind of similar to actions and similar to conditions as well. And we can see here, let's uh, uh, user view, for example. We have a label, we have a group. Instead of uh, uh, the parameters or the provides, we have something called variables here. And these are basically pr provides uh, variables that, that are sent from the event to rules. Um, and you can see these are described as uh, uh, regular uh, data types in rules. You have a type and we have a label. In this case we have an uh, options list as well uh, because we don't want to have a regular text field here. And, and that's basically it. And so uh, let's declare ourselves a new uh, event that takes care of well, that should react on this. We're going to take of the reaction, take care of the reaction thing later on, and actually invoking the event. Uh, but we will declare it here in NetBeans. Uh, rules coding rules include, and we do this very similar to how we declare actions and conditions down here somewhere. I'm going to add a function, function rules coding event. Uh, Info. There should be a rules here. Rules event info. That's it. Let's have a look here. Rules event info, and then we're going to use rules coding rules event info. Events equals array. And we can have any number of events. Each of them are keyed with the machine name for the event. So I'm going to call this rules coding uh, event save, well, yeah, save words or something. This event is described by an array, as we've seen before. Oh, and let's, so I don't forget it later on, let's return events also, as well. Sorry. I'm blaming Swedish here. I hope you understand Swedish. Okay, so what should we have here? We should have a label, we should have a group. Let's add the label and we wrap it in T. So uh, that reminds me, it's actually tea time. Okay, wrap it in T. Um, list of words is being saved. And group should be something like rules coding. Uh, and then the important thing here is the variables. Variables, maybe they should be, I'm not that good at English. An array, declaring, and I'm gonna uh, actually have two of these variables, not only the saved list of words, which is kind of natural to bring, but also the list of words as it was before saving, which is kind of uh, usual uh, st standard rules uh, thing. When you have node is being saved. For example, you have both the old and the new nodes. You can compare things and, and react if some field value has changed or whatever. So let's have this list unchanged uh, is described by an array uh, and I'm calling it well type is list text and the label is what um, list beef well unsaved list something like that and I'm cloning this and I'm gonna call it list updated which is the updated list and there we are almost done and I would actually like to add one more thing here. We can see, if we go to the different events here, uh, let's look at the user pre-save uh, here. 
we have this, as I said, the account and then the account unchanged. And, and well, I was going to say skip save here, but let's not use that right now. Let, let's, uh, let's stick with what we got right now. I think this is quite enough. Um, okay, so let's have a look at this. If I clear cache, da -da -da. there should be a new thing here. Coding, there it is. Event save words. Here it is. Here it is. Sweet. Uh, and this could then be uh, used in reaction rules um, to trigger events. Unfortunately, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't get invoked anywhere right now, and we're going to take care of that in the next part of this suggested solution. See you there. Bye.